Let me tell you how normal it was because President Obama was also deporting people. And, you know, those raids didn't get covered. Right. Like we didn't see the video en masse the way that we are seeing it potentially now. Yeah. So, I mean, that's part of the issue. And, yes, the catch and release from 2006 that George W. Bush uh, had wiped away in name and in policy crept back during the Obama years. But what's really interesting is Democrats didn't want to have this discussion during the lead up to the election. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to talk about it. So the make good on that is to make it look like you really care right now with all of this outrage, but the outrage is not coming with answers. Lisa, well, I have a question for you. The Dreamers, which is a big campaign issue, big immigration issue, Donald Trump isn't going to enforce deporting any of the Dream Act students. Do you think that will, you know, anger his base? Well, no, I mean, I think what he needs to do is, is start with the criminal illegal aliens. I think he's already come down pretty hard on uh, illegal immigration and sort of changing at least. Uh, you know, the tone and also the direction of how illegal aliens are going to be uh, addressed in the country. But to Harris's point, yeah, we didn't see a day without immigrants when President Obama was breaking records in deportations, more deportations than any other president in history. And I actually think there's a danger uh, in some of the hyperbole we're seeing from the left because Chris Matthews made this point after the election, MSNBC's, you know, very, very liberal uh, Chris Matthews, that Hillary Clinton never came out against illegal immigration and it hurt her. Yeah. And yeah. the Democratic Party they didn't want to talk about it. They don't I want to talk about it. Hold on. So I think there's a danger politically for them uh, in, in doing that.